Welcome to our walkthrough video for Reformer Pro. Let's start by adding the plugin to a track in Pro Tools. Reformer Pro can use any live signal or recorded audio file as input. Let's hear some of these first. <laughs> now let's hear the processing. Let's use the XY pad to blend between the libraries. We're using the same input here to get different results from different libraries. Moving between Reformer Pro's four voices. We can blend these voices together as well. You can hear how Reformer Pro uses an input audio signal to perform your sound libraries. Now libraries are a crucial concept to Reformer Pro. They can be loaded from the side panel here. Any library in this list can be loaded into any one of Reformer Pro's four voices. You can also create your own libraries for Reformer Pro using our own analysis tool, which is opened here. Simply find a folder of audio files and drag it into the analysis tool. Choose the sample rates which you wish to work at and click create. Now navigate back to Reformer Pro and close and open the plugin to refresh. Use the search bar to quickly locate your new library and load it into the Reformer Pro. Different libraries can be loaded into different voices to create complex sound design instruments. Each of these voices can be handled in slightly different ways using the voice controls. For instance, you can use different playback speeds or response times to alter the sound. Depending on the library and input sound, these will have different effects. The volume of each voice can also be balanced easily. And the same range of controls apply to each voice. Reformer Pro also includes a dry wet control to blend the processing, and a master volume, and also a master dynamic section to add subtle or extreme compression to your processing. When a library has been loaded into a voice in Reform Pro, you can use Extended View to adjust its contents. You can preview every sound in the library, and then selectively mute or deactivate individual samples using the icon on the right hand side. This allows you to be very specific in the sounds selected by Reformer Pro in real time, removing any that stick out, or using this really as an instrument buildup. You can toggle preview and its level playback here, or use the mute all button to remove all samples from the library and then build up again from scratch. This again is a really powerful feature to get exactly the sound you want. Hello, testing one, two, three. Now let's drive this using just the watermelon samples in our library. This gives us a particular type of gory foley from this one library. Now let's mute all and select a different selection of samples. Let's use the search bar and select just our orange samples this time. You hear the library is giving us a very different response using the same input. I'll need to save this selection as a preset to recall it next time. Now let's take a look at Reformer Pro's transient engine. This can be used to add extra definition to your sounds or immediate impacts depending on the library. I'm using this simple clap to demonstrate. You can flip between the transient and voice controls with the lower panel. Now we can hear the effect immediately. There are various controls in the lower panel to affect the engine. Set the mix between the main and transient engines here, the decay of the transient, and also the attack. The engine also combines with Extended View. By selecting different samples, a different match will be found and triggered. This allows you to explore the library quickly and easily and find the best result you're looking for. You can switch back and forth between samples quickly and easily in real time. The threshold control sets the point at which a transient will be triggered. I've got different versions of the same audio file here. Now I'm going to lower the threshold to allow more of these to be triggered. You'll hear the results are slightly different due to the difference in input. Now by lowering the threshold, we can now hear a transient being triggered by each one of these files. 
You can also adjust playback speed for the Transient Engine per voice and volume. Now let's move over to a different voice and hear a different library in action. Here we're using the Metal Impact, now blended with the Glass Smash using the XY pad. I can move this around to build multiple versions of the Transient Engine using different libraries. This is great for impact. Again, combined with the different inputs, we get different results. As I move the XY pad around, you'll hear the different libraries being blended in different ways. You can also use the variation knob to add variation to these triggers. Let's try a different blend of the libraries and add the variation again. Reformer Pro's dynamic input can be opened here. This allows you to perform a sound library directly without an audio input. This controls a virtual input to control Reformer's processing. Let's try a different library. By manipulating these controls, you'll hear different results. Just like an audio signal, differences in amplitude and frequency will give different results. Amplitude is the main driver of the system. Setting the frequency slider will set an area of frequency content in which to focus. This will vary depending on the library. Variation can also be applied using the variation slider. Dynamic input can also be automated very easily. You'll hear the very varied response that we can get very quickly and easily using dynamic input. Dynamic input can also be set to continuous mode, which is ideal for environmental effects and more experimental use cases. We can also blend between libraries while in continuous mode. Frequency controls can still be adjusted to select different areas of the library. Using a small amount of variation will ensure a more naturalistic sound, but this can also be removed from more glitchy effects. We hope this has given you a good introduction to Reformer Pro. For more information, visit KrotosAudio.com. Thanks for watching.